well now it is time for some Kaohsiung trivia. I'm very excited about this game because I actually used to live very close to Kaohsiung in Tainan. It's the city right above Kaohsiung. So I've been there quite a few times. What about you guys? I, a few times. I've been there once. Once, oh, okay. All right. You might struggle a little bit during this game. But well, I've read many books about Gaussian. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this, this quiz is a bit of a mix of, yeah, something that you might read in a book and something that you got to be there to see it. So Ooh, we'll see how this same. goes. Um, we can take a look at the first question. So the first the question is, who's the mayor of Kaohsiung? Chen Shi Mai. Oh, nice. Very good. Chen Shi Mai. We got a little picture of him right there. The next question is, what's the tallest building oh, in Kaohsiung? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I forgot what it's called. Yeah. Is it like um, there's a hotel and then there's like um, um, a, I believe a there's store. a hotel in it. I've never actually been inside. I forgot inside. what it's called, so we need a hint. Okay, let's see the hint. So the yeah, hint that's is the I'm picture of it. Yeah. Okay. I just stayed there. And there is a number in 88 the name. 88 something? Oh, 80 something. 87? 89? Oh. <laughs> <We're getting laughs> close. 85? Ah, 85. 85. Okay. So it's called the 85 Sky Tower. Actually, the 85 Sky Tower used to be the tallest building in Taiwan before they built Taipei 101. Oh, oh interesting. Yeah, so it had its title taken away, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. I've never been to the top, but just like Taipei 101, you can take trips up there. Oh, nice. Hmm. All right, on to the next question. All right, what giant work of art can you find at the Formosa Boulevard MRT station? Oh. This is like huge art. It's like art. the glass, the whole glass thing. What is it called? It's like the whole thing's made of glass, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, is you're, there a name for it? You're very close. Uh, so it's there the is MRT a special station. name. It is in the MRT station. Uh, maybe if I give you a hint with the okay. picture, it might rejog your memory. It's so here's so, it's the hint. so gorgeous. So no, I don't know what it is called. It's called the Dome of... Formosa Boulevard. No. Kaohsiung. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to give you guys the answer on this one is the Dome of Light. It's so beautiful. It, made, it is like, really some beautiful. World rankings and stuff, right? Yes. This beautiful station. I, uh, I remember being on the subway there for the first time, and my friend was like, okay, this isn't the stop we need to get off at, but we're going to get off just to see this this uh, Dome of Light, and then we're going to get back on. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> a masterpiece. It is very cool. Beautiful. Yeah. The next question, another one about something tall, is oh, I know where what that can is. you find the tallest? Oh, I don't even I need to finish the question. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, who? I didn't see. I who hit it. Okay, yes, Natalie. Fu Guang Sun. Oh, yeah. I've been there, good. actually. Have you been there? Yeah, I have. I mean, it's really imposing. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's you the tallest it. sitting bronze Buddha statue in the world. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. I went there recently. It was the second time I went there. The first time was a really interesting experience because. It was through a school program, so we actually stayed overnight there and like did meditation and calligraphy. Oh, so it was real. a pretty cool experience. What kind of animal is it? A oh, monkey. You're very excited about <laughs> that one. A monkey. Yes. Or monkeys, yes. yes. Real, real. Have you been to Shoshan? I loved it. So beautiful. Oh, yes. I haven't been there. I didn't even get to Sorry, finish I the question. Sorry, I just had to get one. Oh, no, I, I had to get one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll get smoked. No, so. it's okay. <laughs> so yes, um, the monkeys are infamous for attacking people at Shoshan. Have you been there before? Yeah, of course. Have I loved it. It was my favorite part of Kaohsiung. I just love the monkeys and how they're like there around you. They're not scared of you. Very cool. What do they do with you? How do they interact with you? Oh, nothing. If like, I mean, if you take food out, they try to take it, but nothing. It's like there's going to be a big gang of them like on the path. And, you know, me, I, I get very scared of wild animals. But, you know, those monkeys, they just like look at you and then they go on you know, scratching each other and picking bugs out of each other's fur and it's just great. <laughs> I had a I terrifying it. experience with them, I'm going to be honest. Ooh. I mean, the the second time that I went there, we were, my friends were like, okay, let's eat before we get on the trail yeah. or anything. So we were not at the trail at all, we were near the parking lot. And my friend brought these banana cakes and she had them in a bag and we started walking to the picnic table. We saw some monkeys like start coming towards us. So we're like, okay, let's go back to the car. Meanwhile, we're walking back to the car. A monkey jumps off of the, the bathroom building, oh jumps on top of my friend, oh pulls my the bag gosh. away, starts pulling oh the food gosh. out. And we just like pick it up and run back to the car. Uh -huh. And the rest of the monkeys are chasing us across the parking oh lot. They <laughs> <laughs> so were jumping on the cars. It was oh insane. Why were you eating so quick? So close to the and to the area. 
My friend said she had eaten there before and it was fine. Bananas are like so ar aromatic. I mean, I'm yeah. sure they saw it wasn't, it wasn't on the trail it. or anything, so. Oh, and they love bananas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew for sure before I went, I was like, don't eat anything oh, that's anywhere close to there. What an experience. It was crazy. You didn't film it, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> they would have taken my phone if I did, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see the next question. Okay, so this one is, what's the name of the island right off the coast of Kaohsiung? Xiaoliu Chou? Uh, no. no. When I say right off, oh, I mean okay. like that's four a, minute yeah, ferry ride that away. that I went to. That's no, I, I forgot its name. I don't know its name. Oh, no. <laughs> the answer for this one is Qijin Island. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I think I've been there. Yeah, it's really, <laughs> it's forgot. like a five minute ferry ride. Uh, you can just actually. use your totally easy card yeah. and... My favorite thing is to go to the beach and yeah. there's this nice restaurant that just looking out over the water and just to nice chill there with some friends. It's really nice. And a lot of times there's live music as well. Yeah, mm. I remember the place. It's a nice place to hang out. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Yes. Well, I believe we have one more question. So this is the final question. What's the original name of Kaohsiung? Da Dago. Wow, oh my god, you got you? it. That's amazing. How did you know that? I told you, I read books. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is something that would be in a book, yeah. I think. Do you know why it's called Dago? Uh, I believe it was from the indigenous people that lived in that area. Yeah, so yeah. the name... Where the Makadao live around there? Yeah, and I believe in the indigenous language it was called Takao, um, yeah. which meant like bamboo forest. And so when they had it like I don't know, when they changed it sort of into Mandarin, they used dago, which yeah. means to hit a dog. Oh, and then when uh, nice. Japan came and colonized Taiwan, they were like, that's a terrible name. <laughs> so they decided to call it um, Kaohsiung, which means like high hero, because in Japanese, it's pronounced the same as Takao. Yeah. Um, really? Yeah, yeah. So that's how Kaohsiung oh. got its name. The high hero is not too bad. Well, just yeah. all these translations. Is right. Yeah, story. it's very yeah. interesting how that came that around. That is interesting. Well, there are many names in Taiwan that it's like they're um, like Minan, like uh, Hoklo adaptations of like local indigenous names. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah.